we are doing transpiration chapter we have done till now the transpiration that it is the removal of excess of water from the upper parts of a plant in form of water vapors roots are absorbing water from the soil and their the leaves are giving out water in form of vapors so there is a change of state from the liquid to the vapor state so this change of state occurs in the stomata we have done the mechanism of stomatal transpiration in this mechanism we have done that there are three forces which are acting very first is cell to cell osmosis second is imbibation and third is diffusion due to the occurrence of these three processes transpiration is able to take place yes so we say that in the stomata that is in the kidney shaped cells the gut cells as they are able to absorb water from the surrounding cells they become turgid and as they become turgid they are able to due to cell to cell osmosis from the neighboring cells they absorb water due to photosynthesis the amount of water in them is less they absorb water from the surrounding cells they swell up they pressurize other cells resulting in less of water so in the mesophyll cells of the leaf we say that as the cell cell to cell osmosis is occurring and due to the cell absorbing water from the adjacent cell it becomes swollen due to excess of water in it some amount of that absorbed water due to presence of cellulose on the upper surface of the cell wall we say that some water is transferred to the upper surface due to imbibation imbibation is a process in which the hydrophilic colloids hydrophilic hydro means water philic is loving so this water loving substance present on the upper surface of leaf that is the leaf cells in the mesophyll cells the cells as they are plant tissue they have cellulose in them in the cell wall so that cell wall present on the outer surface of the leaf cells the plant cells we say that this hydrophilic colloid is able to absorb the internal water to upper side so some amount of that absorbed water is given to the upper surface and that because it is in con uh, combination with the intercellular space we say that this amount of water the due to imbibation some percentage of water absorbed water is present on the upper surface and that is transferred due to the presence of atmospheric air in the intercellular spaces from the stomatal opening this is transferred to the diffusion state it is converted into due to diffusion it is converted into the vapor state so the liquid uh, the water uh, from the liquid state is converted into vapor state and this vapors are the water vapors are diffusing out into the environment through the stomatal pore that is stomatal transpiration the mechanism of stomatal transpiration Yes. Then we say that in the leaves, as the dicot leaf, dicots. We say we have <coughs> the dorsoventral leaf and the isobilateral leaf. We have two kinds of leaf: the dicots and the monocots. Dicots have dorsoventral. Dorsoventral means upper and lower surface, in which the leaf is attached to the stem at right angles. So the leaf lamina is at right angles to the stem. and it is able the upper surface is able to absorb more of sunlight than the lower surface isobilateral is elongated ribbon like leaves in monocots so they are attached to the stem with the running parallel to the surface of the stem so the both the surfaces of the leaf in monocots are able to absorb the sun sunlight in equal amounts yes so monocots are absorbing sunlight on both the surfaces in equal amount whereas in dorsoventral leaf in dicots the upper surface being more green in color more thick and shiny on the upper surface is able to absorb more sunlight from the upper surface lower surface is very thin because the stomata number of stomata present on the upper surface is less lower surface is more and the cuticle present on the lower surface is ruptured at number of places because more of stomata present on the lower surface so lower surface is able to transpire more water than the upper surface this we have done in the mechanism of stomatal transpiration as well as the lower surface of the leaves 
are transpiring more water than the upper surface yes